In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get bigger, stronger glutes. Why am I doing a couch stretch in the beginning of that video? Well, this is actually one of the most important tips that I use with my clients is that you need to actually have flexibility in the opposing muscle groups. This applies to anything, right? So any muscle group. If I want my glutes to properly activate and have full range of motion, I need to make sure that the hip flexors are elongated, which will allow proper firing and use of the glutes. So I always start my glute training with hip flexor stretching. You can also, I, this is one of my favorite stretches to do in between sets, active resting, right? If you're waiting, don't just sit there or sit on your phone, go ahead and do some opposing stretches, which will make your next set even more effective, okay? And now, of course, you may all know of the RDL, the variation of a deadlift, one of the best exercises for glute training, but I'm gonna do a set here, and I want you to notice that if I want to emphasize my glutes, I don't want my legs to be too straight. Don't want them too bent, but there is a sweet spot, and you have to find that. The straighter the knees are, the more hamstring you will use, okay? So if I keep them locked out like this, I'm gonna feel that in my hamstrings. Now, if I add some bend to this and allow that pressure, my body weight to go into my heels, right here, my glutes are maximally loaded, okay? So understand that different knee bends will emphasize different portions of that posterior chain. And yes, if you're trying to train your glutes maximally, use straps. This muscle will always be stronger than this muscle. And understanding the three main principles I'm using that I'm showing you in this video, the three main ATG principles is the stretch strength, which is shown here in the RDL. There's partial range training and proper activation, which is gonna be your pigeon push-ups, your couch stretch. But then, uh, you know, things like reverse hyper, supermans, but understanding that, yes, even for glute training, it's very important to get into unilateral movements, okay? You, will, you can have imbalances between your hips, between your glutes. So things like the single leg RDL, again, bend that knee enough, pressure on the heel, is going to totally take your glute training to another level. And remember, glute training is not just for women. The glutes are the largest generator of power and force, okay? For speed, for you athletes out there. And also just in general, if you wanna be aesthetic, if you're just bodybuilding, you need to have proportioned bodies. So you don't want big old quads, big old upper body and you know flat ass. So, <laughs> so you gotta make sure you train it evenly here. So again, bend the knee enough, not too much. If you get too much, we're getting into a quad movement, but too straight, it's all hamstring. So you want to find that sweet spot right in between. Train. Train unilaterally. Train heavy double leg full range of motion and then partial ranges of motion to fully round out and complete uh, your program. Things like I said earlier, the pigeon push up. We're working that outer glute. Okay. And then Superman's. Okay, short ranges of motion, you want stretches and holds and pauses, okay? Because you're already doing such a short range, not a lot of time under tension. So you're gonna wanna add these pauses and squeezes to get the most out of this. One more key principle, which may require some practicing, some drilling, if you will, is gonna be how to hinge properly. Hinging requires proper breathing, core bracing, if you will. It's about bringing your air and your breath into your stomach, okay? Don't breathe up into your chest. Breathe into your stomach. Push out fingers. You can drill this by putting pressure and take a deep breath. 
it should push out your fingers, all right? So once you get that first down, the second part is gonna be able to hold that breath while still being able to talk and breathe. But right now, I'm flexing here, I'm tight. And you need to understand how to hinge, okay? So a lot of people struggle with this and will round on the upper back. You need to practice with body weight, master body weight if you have to. Use support if you have to. But the first thing here is understanding that the hip goes back as the shoulders come forward and down, okay? And there's no rounding in that low back. That's key, okay? If you never master this part, you can't do anything of the other. You're never gonna get heavy RDLs. You're gonna be at risk for injuring your low back. So there is time for a rounded low back training. That's a subject for another video, but for maximal glute training, you need to be able to hinge, okay? So practice this, drill this, do this as a warm up if you need to, to really get that movement down and then slowly start adding weight to progress long term, of course. So I hope this video helps you. If you, one of your goals is to build a bigger, stronger glutes, whether it's aesthetically, men or women, or if you want to run faster, jump higher, you will need stronger and more powerful glutes. You can do both with proper ATG training. My programs are underneath the physique tab on atgonlinecoaching.com, okay? If you need any supplements, Surpo Nutrition, S-U-R-P-O, nutrition.com. I have some New Year specials going on right now. Check that out. And then just remember, if you need any coaching at all, if you need any guidance on your programming, check out that ATG app. You get a coach 24 seven customer service. It's the best bang for your buck out there. And you can also message me directly if you have any specific question. And I hope to see you making all the gains you need in 2024. Thank you.